Well, I just learned the state drink of Indiana is water, but it's gonna take something a lot stronger than that to help me deal with this. sucks right now. I drove from southern Wisconsin down to Indiana where two weeks ago it was 80 and gorgeous and the weather wasn't this crummy uh, and we saw a lot of muskies and by we I mean my friend Rusty Robbins he's up in front Rusty's custom lures I will leave his particulars in the description below he makes some really nice stuff a spy bait called the counter punch is one of the really cool ones I made a video about that uh, I'll link it up here so you can watch that but uh, we have three days to fish, today being the first one of them. I think it's gonna be raining all day, so it's gonna be really tough to film, but we're gonna take a stab at it. Probably the only thing we're gonna have is a chest cam in this camera because I just can't set anything else up because it's gonna get wet and that's a problem. So uh, we're gonna do the best that we can with what we have. And what we have is 52 degree water, rain, wind, and generally crappy conditions to fish and horrendous conditions to film in but like i said we're gonna take a stab at it all right let's get to fishing all right folks i'm gonna start out throwing an eight inch kodiak naven this one's a little beat up but it's caught some fish so i'm gonna give this a shot nine foot uh surgical strike 2020 chaos tackle salt stick with 400 tranks and uh fins 80 pound test line i'm liking this stuff a lot What's Rusty got up here? I'm not going to turn too much because the it's rain is... size six sucker glide. Look at that. Six inch. It's been beat up pretty good. And that, you know, a lot of times I've, I've thought that little uh, dangle on the back would screw it up, but it looks really cool in the water. So uh, this is what we're tossing, folks. we got a couple baits in the water. We've got rain everywhere, which is making filming really tough. But we are taking a stab at it. Let's see if we can catch one of these dumb things or anything. Oh, got one. Fish, all right. Oh, shoot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, man, the, the wind blew my hood right back in my face when I tried to net the darn thing. <laughs> oh, get the anchor on. Yeah. And then of course I yeah, I saw your hood flip. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, check that chunk out on the back oh, of his yeah. head. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not a big one, but <laughs> it's pretty fish. <laughs> Well, folks, despite Mother Nature's best attempts to keep us from catching anything, uh, we caught something. It's not a big muskie, but it is a muskie. It's a good-looking little fish. Where'd you get that on, Rusty? So uh, my downsized glide. It wasn't Very cool. My head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this little guy. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Look at that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but oh, the, such a gorgeous fish, man. Here, I'll get. get. Man, the markings on it just cool. All right, well, we finally scored, man. <laughs> All right. Good deal. We'll get her back I'm excited. in. Excited. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting on my butt, uh, cover over my now ruined lens on my chest cam. <laughs> it's been raining since I got here. I don't think it's going to stop, but I'm here, so we're going to fish, and I'm going to film it to the best of my ability. So this will probably be a little bit janky, but it's what you get. This is spring musky fishing, people. This is how we do it.
All right, folks, a little bit of a midday update, as it were. We have seen six muskies, and we have caught one. Uh, unfortunately, the one we caught was probably the smallest of all the ones we've seen. We've seen some nice fish. Uh, we've had them up on, uh, I've had them up on the eight inch Navin. Rusty's had a couple up on his glide bait and one on the counter punch. So we're seeing fish, but um, yeah, unfortunately, I, this is bumming me out that this rain just will not let up. It's a little cell that just keeps redeveloping over top of us. And if we were like 30 minutes to the south, it'd be out of here. But you just have to deal with it because that's what you have to do. So uh, we're going to get back to fishing. We've got a couple hours, uh, so hopefully we can make something happen here. Nipping at it. Was he right on it? Yeah. I couldn't tell. He came in a little late. I was actually getting right. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see him. Oh, dude, he's. he's oh, oh, we. Oh shoot! He nipped. <laughs> Shoot. He had it in his mouth. Yeah, yep, I saw him. Cotty man, he was ramped up. Okay. Well, I might have to put a glide bait on. <laughs> Shoot. All right, well, hey, we got, what, an hour? We got an hour left. All right. Let's do this. All right, ladies and gents, getting towards the uh, end of the day. It's the power hour, maybe the power half hour at this point. Um, just saw one, had it hit, so fish are moving a little bit. Hopefully we can get one to go. I wanted to mention something really quick, if you can see the uh, new shades that I'm wearing. I am wearing uh, H3O polarized. These things are awesome. Um, I used to wear Costas. I'm not gonna lie. I liked them a lot. I like these better. So, uh, especially for conditions like this where it's kind of dark, these Elite Polar clear lenses are amazing. And I, it, they're just amazing. So, check those out. I'll leave some stuff in the description below about these things. Um, but yeah, you should take a look at them. I need to get back to casting and we need to catch another fish. Fingers crossed. I mean, so does it stay lighter a little bit later here because we're so close to the time zone change? Because like around home right now would be dark as fuck. Oh yeah. What is this? Gizzard shad? A bass. Wow. Well, if that isn't how my season's going. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Yeah, they're about the same size. <laughs> Big catch of the day. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, wouldn't you know it, uh, we finally caught a muskie. How about that, huh? Um, in the wildest, probably the worst conditions I've fished in all year. And of course that's when it would happen. But uh, you know what, I'll take it. It was a little guy, very pretty fish. We saw a lot of fish, unfortunately, with the weather being the way it was, uh, couldn't have the cameras up as much as I wanted to. So yeah, it's a little janky. So I apologize, but that's just mother nature for you. And that's musky fishing. We're gonna be doing more of that with mother nature hopefully helping a little bit better tomorrow. Um, we've got some decent conditions, hopefully. We're gonna try a different lake and hopefully you'll be seeing another musky video from that. All right, everybody. I appreciate you putting up with this mess and watching all this silliness and I'll see you on the next video.